Well, good evening. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking up with us. It was a nice day overall, partly cloudy skies and winds were a little breezy upwards of about 25 miles here in the city at Corpus Christi International. In fact, we registered a wind gust upwards of about 35 and that's going to continue through Sunday, but from a different direction. It's all thanks to a cold front that's going to slide through around 8 a.m. Give or take an hour or two, but with it, some cooler air, low humidity and a nice breeze from the northeast up to about 25 miles an hour. But until then, patchy fog until early tomorrow morning. Not too widespread nor dense, but cold front tomorrow morning, and that's going to set up a comfortable weather pattern for the next four to five days here in South Texas and also give us a very, very small rain chance early tomorrow morning. Meantime, temperatures out the door for any evening plans. Middle to upper 70s, 74 in Beeville, 76 here in the city. In addition to Robstown, 74 in Alice, and an even 70 down to 81 in Foul Furious. Winds are from the southeast, which is ushering more moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, and that's just increasing our dew points, our humidity values, which are running in the middle to upper 60s right now. But overall, nice breeze, a nice feel to the air at about 15 and 20 miles an hour. Now, overnight tonight, after midnight, some fog is going to develop, but after about 7, 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, we're going to watch a cold front slide on in, and with it, it's going to push out all the cloud cover, the fog, and also bring in a nice dry air mass into South Texas. Now, where is the cold front right now? It's in North Texas, north of San Angelo into the Panhandle. Behind the front, yeah, 40s and 50s, not too bad, right? But as it pushes into Corpus Christi, it'll modify. We're not looking at 40s in our forecast. Uh, but some overnight lows in the 50s and afternoon highs in the 70s. And you can see north of Dallas is a line of showers trying to form in front of that cold front. But more of the widespread heavy downpours in association with this frontal boundary, along with this area of low pressure out to our north, is going to stay in uh, Missouri, portions of Arkansas. And we're not going to cash in on much rainfall, maybe a few sprinkles here and there, but uh, we do need it. I mean, you can see on severe drought, it is creeping into Rockport, Port Aransas. And this is the uh, latest drought monitor that came out a couple days ago and west of Corpus Christi is abnormally dry conditions, but this just shows what we need and we need rainfall and aside from a few isolated showers overnight, we're not going to see much. Now watch the time around 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. The cold front is going to slide in into our western and northwestern areas and we'll be on the tail end of energy as we typically are and Rockport, Ingleside, Corpus Christi may see a few isolated downpours here and there. Nothing too heavy, nothing too severe. And it's going to pass through very quickly in the Gulf of Mexico, which is going to kind of push and uh, just really push all the moisture out, really. And then that's going to lead to a nice setup for your Sundays, clear skies, temperatures maxing out in the 70s. And then overnight lows come early Monday morning in the 50s. In the meantime, a wind from the north at about 15 to 25 miles an hour. So all day tomorrow, breezy and winds don't subside until late tomorrow night, early tomorrow, early Monday morning, I should say from the north northeast at about 15 miles an hour. So overall a nice Sundays in store. High temperatures in the middle to upper 70s, a breezy north wind, and we keep the 70s in the forecast through at least Wednesday before jumping them back to the 80s by Thursday and Friday. Humidity day by day, that's the big story as well. The dry air in place is going to make for a comfortable weather pattern through about Thursday. Okay, very quickly, we have tropical storm Iota in the Caribbean Sea. Uh, the 30th name of the hurricane season, and this is near hurricane strength. In fact, winds are at 70, going to be near a category three before it makes landfall in Central America early next week, Monday to Tuesday. Our seven day forecast, small chance at rain early tomorrow morning. Otherwise, a sunny day. Temperatures in the 70s through Thursday and Friday under mostly sunny skies. Mike. All right, thank you, Ryan.